For there is a poem which says, Under the sword lifted high, there is hell making you tremble. But go ahead, and there is the land of bliss. Don't hesitate. Yeah. With metaphysical courage. But she's a nervous one. And she lives on she lives on some property, right, Oscar? A few acres or something. They got chickens and so she's been killing the chickens. So we're teaching her control. So when you have a dog and you want to teach her control, you work on the stick. No! Coco! That's enough of that! Good golly, good god, Coco! Good quiet, Coco. Good Eve. Eve. So we're gonna take her outside and make her do the magic stuff outdoors, yeah? Look at this, so watch. So she's a nervous one. So we're gonna repeat this. Okay, hey, bring her back around and make her sit again, please. Eve. So again, this is where we're gonna take her outside because dogs get nervous, yeah? Especially her, her nerves aren't that good. But she's a happy dog, she's been eating and stuff. So look, here we come to the sit. Look, look, look at her legs. Now Dobermans do have a, a disease sense. that makes them wobble. So I don't, you know, I, I'm not a Doberman expert. So I don't know if that's what it is. I think those are just nerves. Good sit. Good, you good. All right, so let's take her out. You know what she does? There you go. Just because we open the door doesn't mean you gotta get up. It's very important, especially when you're dealing with a chicken killer. Oh, it's the chicken killer. Good stay, baby. Good, the touch is a release. Good, 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 good. All right. Bam, we're going renegade now because guess what? She's looking, she got pumped up out here, huh? So I was not expecting her to behave that way. I thought coming out here was gonna shut her down and make her nervous, but it hasn't. It's made her very, 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 very active. Good God. Look at this grass. Cranberry's got lemon trees out here. Good, good, good. So we're gonna go over handling and I was going to be showcasing how to handle a nervous dog, but she's more nervous inside. She's not very nervous out here. Out here, she loves her freedom. She loves that freedom. Good, good, good. So everything Cranberry is doing right now is perfect. He's not giving her any commands at all. No commands, all right? We're starting off just by communicating her with her, rather, through the process of nipping at her. Good, good, good. All right, the process of nipping at her. Good. Good, good, good. Now, you're gonna slow down, you're gonna come to a stop. Now you're gonna apply pressure, to see what happens. Normally pressure causes her to sit, but look, she's fighting the pressure, okay? So look how he's using his back foot to kind of get her down. Look at the good, good trick, oh, good. She gets up, we're going to apply pr pressure every time she gets up. Look how she's shaking those nerves, yeah? But she's doing pretty good, man. She got a thick chest. Looks like she's eating a lot of chickens. She's eating a lot of chickens. All right, so look. He's not going to drop the leash, but look how what he's going to do. We're going to do shenanigans to try to get her to stand up, okay? I'm going to try to confuse Cranberry so the dog will be confused. The only thing I need you to do, Cranberry, is if she stands up, what are you going to do? Apply pressure, yes? Now, you see how Cranberry is applying pressure there very exaggerated? Good, good, good. Perfect, Cranberry. She's giving you a perfect opportunity. And look, if your dog is fighting you on this, it's okay to use your hand to push their bottom down as you apply pressure. But if you let go of the pressure just because your dog is fighting you or maybe even shaking, your dog, your dog wins. Keep in mind that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, so this collar doesn't hurt them if you use it properly. And actually, I know there's going to be other trainers and people out there saying I'm not using it properly because they probably think I have one too many links on there because it's not riding up tight they, they want it like right up tight at the tight top of the neck i'm not gonna do that no no, no. don't do that okay. i don't care what other trainers think i got results i got hundreds of videos on youtube with results it works good the other thing that i'm not doing properly technically according to other trainers would be the size of this collar this one should this is actually for like the smallest breeds of dogs if i can get one smaller i would use it i just want to get the biting function I don't need to use the force, yeah? Good, good, good. Now there, now that he's pet her and touched her, now she can't stand up. So if she were to stand up right now and he applies pressure, that's the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. There you go, but the right thing to do is start walking. Good. As soon as she starts deviating and moving away from you, you need to start walking, all right? Good, now we're gonna start catching her off guard, all right? Bring her back towards me, please, please, Cranberry. And in fact, 
Good, good, good. 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 Right there. Slow down right there and come to a stop facing that direction so she can see all the purple. The community. Good, good, good. Man, she did that really well. I should have videotaped how you did that because that little touch made a big difference. All right, now you see? Now, one thing that Cranberry does, and it's okay that he does it on the video, is he there's a lot of leash shenanigans going on you're very aware of the leash in his hands yeah so when i train with the dogs watch the videos i try to make it seem as if the leash is not in my hands okay it's okay if you do it but a smart dog is going to recognize the difference between leash on and leash off so i like to do shenanigans and shenanigans and mask the fact that i'm using the leash so we're waiting for her to stand up now cranberry i'm going to give you a, a directions okay it's okay if you mess up all right step forward oh look what happened so i need you to be aware of the dog there you go Good job, good job. Perfect pressure, let go of the pressure as soon as that butt hits the ground. And we wanna kinda of keep her in the same spot. So if she moves a foot, we're gonna move a foot back. If she moves like roughly three feet to the left, we'll put her three feet to the right, okay? Step back, Oscar, to the right. Step forward. Step around her, please. Turn the other direction. Good, good, good. Step forward again. Step next to her, please. Now act as if you're going to pet her. Don't pet her. Act as if you're going to pet her. Don't pet her. Good. Step forward, please. Oh, she nailed it, dude. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. All right. Good baby girl. Good Eve. Oh, there. Then that got her to stand up. Okay. And in the future, you would nitpick and make her face the same direction but in the beginning you don't want to nitpick that pick your battles yeah we're not training a competition animal here for god's sakes good 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 just a good companion for the home the chicken killer good 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 yeah all right now oscar what i want you to do is you're going to talk her you're going to touch her and then when you touch her you're going to walk in that direction and when i tell you when i say now you're going to turn right around and go in the opposite direction as quickly as possible Without pulling on the leash with her. Yeah. Without pulling her. Let her hit the end of the leash if she if right. she does, okay? Touch her and start to walk. Okay. Heel. Good. Give her as much slack as possible. Now. Oh, man, that was a beautiful turn. What a beautiful turn. Okay, very good. Now, turn towards me. Perfect, perfect, perfect nip. Slow down. Come to a stop. Glide her into that position, into the sit. Good, good, good. See if she's distracted, don't matter. We're going to win the fight. Good, sit, good. Good, good, good. Now, step forward, please. Look at that. Beautiful. Step back into her, please. Pause for a few seconds. And then we're going to end it with something so wonderful. Look, we're going to take these two fingers. Like this. Yeah, like, peace. And then we're going to touch her left shoulder blade. Go bananas. Good, good, good. Now, if you tell them to go bananas, you want to give them like five to ten minutes. This is like telling them at ease. So she doesn't have to stay at his left. She can kind of go sniff, walk around. In fact, Cranberry, take her over there and let her check her P-mail for a second, please. Give them some freedom, yeah? If every time you take your dog out on the leash, you're making your dog do things, it's not going to look forward to going on the leash. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do follow me if you haven't already started following me on TikTok. The Dog Messiah. Instagram. The Dog Messiah. Facebook. The Dog Messiah. All of that stuff, yeah? No Tweety, but everything else. Good, 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 good. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload a video. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to posting more videos. Now that let's go into the silence.